Hello everyone. Today I'm going to create a kind of striking, bold, yet subtle look. The kind of look where you can go out on your work day or a particular date and you want to make a striking impression upon the other people. So first off, the first thing to do is the best to wash your face to make sure it's nice and clean. And then what we're going to do is take a little bit of foundation, some of the base colour for your skin, so to basically hide any particular blemishes, smooth up the colours, give it one particular tone and really have a foundation to work with us. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, look, this is coming on nicely. Do -do -do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just gently apply it in all the areas of your face. Making sure you got a nice thick layer, even up to the point where you're getting bold. I'm just gonna zoom in here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you drip. It doesn't matter if you drip. It just means that you're really getting at it, really getting to the root of the problem. Right. Next thing we're going to work on is the eyes. We're going to try and bring out a pattern to really make a statement with your eyes. So we're going to take some of this navy blue right here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to place a bit of a base color around our um, eye bit. And then we're going to develop from there. Just gently scrape it across your face. Ooh, look at that. Real deep contrast between the white and the blue. I'm thinking for something like this you need a bit more control. So what we're going to do is going to take this thin brush and uh, begin to apply a bit more blue, a bit more structure. And just Brush it up. And maybe in our little world, we do some deep strokes. There. Sorry about that. The spirit of uh, Bob Ross there, taking over my body, making me say some things. That great bearded Afro artist, which created some amazingly complex scenery of trees and rocks and waterfalls and such. It makes you wonder if you wanted to do anything a bit more daring. Like maybe you say a parrot. Or heaven forbid, a human being. Or self portrait, right? But no. He insisted upon the trees. But ultimately the bigger question is, which is better? Who is better in fact? Bob Ross? Or New Neil Buchanan? But that is a question for another night. For right now we are painting. We are applying makeup. There. Just give our paint brush a bit of a clean. Now we're not going to worry about all these uh, imperfections around the shape because we're going to neaten it up with some nice deep black to really emphasize the fact that you're subtly wearing makeup. So the next step is to apply a bit of lipstick to the lips and we're going to go for a 
hash ff0000 color. A nice deep color of one of these. Now the idea of this is to gently apply it around the lips and to try and create a subtle tone. We don't want the people to realize that you're wearing makeup. We want to keep it nice and natural and subtle. So just gently apply it all around and just subtly blend it in with skill and grace. Okay, so I need a bit more colour there, it's a bit too subtle I think. There. Let's check it. Yeah. These are mistakes there, happy little incidences. And to add a bit of detail, a bit more cleanliness, a bit more structure, just take your paintbrush. Don't control the paintbrush. Let the paintbrush control you. It's got a mind of its own. Let it explore and run rampant and wild across your face. I'm thinking it needs a bit more, so I'm going to try something a little bit daring, a little bit unexpected. I don't know if this is going to work, but if it is, it'll, and if I pull this off, it'll add a million to the f impression, a million to the impressive factor. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take some of this snot right here, some congealed snot, which has been in here for eons, with my delicate brush, and we'll just let the paintbrush take control. Sometimes it's best to have a pattern or a design thought up in advance. Especially if you're a bit of a novice like so many people in the world. But sometimes you can just freeform it, freestyle. Okay, so now we have the base look, the base structure of this striking desired look for your everyday life. And now we're just going to finish it off by blending it all in with a bit of outline. And this is a good chance to correct any happy incidences that you might have when making up the patterns. So, get some of this, get some of black black as the night, black as the darkness in my soul. Of course, while you're doing something like this, don't be afraid to pull silly faces. After all, that is of the sun. And there we are. That's all the makeup I'm going to dare risk for today. Just a few minor touches. Finished. And now you're ready for anything. <laughs>